Hello and welcome to our webinar series, Study at Technic Lisboa. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Agatha and I'm part of the Admissions Office of Technic Lisboa. And today I'd like to introduce to you our beautiful city and of course the best engineering, science, technology and architecture school in Portugal. Technic Lisboa is located in Lisbon, uh, the capital city of Portugal. We are very well located in the world with the same time zone as the UK and Ireland. We are extremely close to other main European cities as well as strategically located in the world. Now, let's get to know a little bit more about our wonderful city. Well, Lisbon is a lot more than just a fantastic tourist de destination with important monuments, great weather and food. We also have a very high quality education system with remarkable university rankings. The best example of that is Universidade de Lisboa. With 18 schools, 8 campi and more than 400 courses, we are the biggest public university in Portugal. Our international community has over 10,000 students. You know, a very curious fact is that we have more than 102 nationalities. As you can see, all areas of expertise are available for you, from engineering to law, sports, pharmacy, literature, and many others. However, Universidade de Lisboa is not only about studying. We have great sport, sport facilities, canteens, and student accommodation available for all students. But I guess we are here today uh, to talk about Technic Lisboa. If you wish to pursue a degree in engineering, science, technology, and architecture, you can find the perfect offer at Technic Lisboa, the School of Engineering of, from the Univers Universidade de Lisboa, University of Lisbon. We are the biggest school of the university, representing 25% of its total. So if you love engineering, science, technology, and architecture, get ready for the discovery of your life.
Well, and more than this, did you know that Technic Lisboa has three campi? Here they are. Technic Lisboa has three campi. One in Oeiras, south of Lisbon, where you'll be extremely close to the beach. Another one in Lourdes, north of Lisbon, where there is available a nuclear reactor for research purposes. And at the heart of Lisbon, the main campus, where we are right now, where around 90% of the classes take place, Alameda Campus. Well, still curious about our school? Let me show you a little bit more. With about 11,000 students, of which 17% are international, Technic Lisboa has more than 700 agreements with schools around the world and 57 double degree programs, which means that during your degree you can, if you wish, pursue an international experience. Technic Lisboa aims to contribute to the development of society by promoting higher education of excellence in the areas of architecture, engineering, science and technology. Our school offers great facilities and the best academic offer, with 84 courses in the most diverse areas. We are truly a school for the world. Well, this amazing centenary institution not only stands out for its programs, but also for its excellent position in world rankings, being the best engineering school in Portugal and one of the best in Europe and in the world for a lower price but the highest quality of an academic experience you will become the top notch of the world in what concerns the academic offer technic lisboa offers bachelor master phd and postdoc degrees as well as online courses mooc technic lisboa has 19 different bachelor programs that for now are taught in portuguese it offers a wide range of degrees, starting from the most innovative ones like aerospace, biomedical or physics engineering, to the more classical ones, but equally important, such as civil, mechanical, or chemical engineering. If you wish to pursue your investment in, in your education, you have still available 33 different master programs fully taught in English. This will allow you to deepen your knowledge and to become one of the top notch on your field of expertise. During your master degree, you will have the chance not only to have an international experience, but also to undertake a double degree, having a final certificate from Universidade de Lisboa and another university very well ranked in the world. Let's also not forget that you have a wide range of mobility programs available, which will allow you to have an international experience during a semester or a full year. Well, uh, Technico Lisboa updated its teaching model in 2021 to meet the demanding uh, challenges of today's world. New curricular components were introduced and new teaching methodologies were adopted, valuing the academic life and extracurricular experience of students in line with the best school of science and engineering in Europe and throughout the world. But I believe we should get to business now. Uh, do you know that if you study at Technic Lisboa, you can get a job and be employed even before you finish your degree? Well, the truth is many employers come to Technic Lisboa to recruit students. How would you feel about having the chance to find a job abroad? Check out our statistic as they don't lie. We always encourage our students to be the best so they can target the companies they wish to work for and have a bright career in the future. Anyway, if you are in need of a break from all the study, enjoy the lifestyle that Technico has to offer. If you're looking to have fun with good music and entertainment, you can always count on the parties and tunas of Technico students, a group of students who play traditional instruments and sing serenades. Want to take your curriculum a step further? Join our student groups. We have more than 40 in all areas, from building a Formula One racing car to a solar boat. We can guarantee you won't have a dull moment at Technical Lisboa. 
From fun to innovation, Technical Lisboa has been developing pioneer research projects, contributing in a decisive way to the economic and social development of the country. Research in Technical Lisboa is organized in centers and institutes that carry out challenging research programs with strong social impact in the fields of architecture, engineering, science and technology. We present you one of the most remarkable projects, our Gasparzinho is part of the Monarch project which focuses on robots that interact with children developing interactive activities in the pediatrics ward of the Portuguese Institute of Oncology in Lisbon. We can clearly say that Technic Lisboa is a forefront school focused on innovation and you can still have fun while doing it. How can you not get excited about it? Well, the best example of what you can accomplish while being a uh, student at Technico are our alumni. Shall we get to know them? We are here today in the wonderful Alameda campus to introduce you to some alumni that have attended this school. Do you know that the first woman that became prime minister in Portugal was a Technical Lisboa former student? Her name was Maria de Lourdes Pintasilgo and she graduated in Chemical and Industrial Engineering in 1953, at the time when a few women went into the field of engineering. Among the 250 students in this program, you can guess how many women were there? Three! That's right, three! Are you familiar with the United Nations? Do you know that Antonio Guterres, the Secretary General, also studied here? He studied electrical engineering and graduated in 1971. Let's not forget about Technicus International alumni. Would you like to meet Rodrigo Carvalho? You know what? I would! Rodrigo chose aerospace engineering and he's now the founder of Nutri Ventures to pursue the dream of fighting obesity and making children help their parents change eating habits. Nutri Ventures has already reached the four corners of the world and gained the support of the former American First Lady, Michelle Obama. Also, would you like to meet Samuel Martins? He graduated in Physics Engineering to broaden his curiosity. The course did not disappoint him and gave him the competencies he needed to succeed. He works at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation where he manages Bill Gates' projects. Well, this is quite impressive, don't you agree? Uh, well, other demonstration of all that you can achieve with an education at Technic Lisboa are our unicorns, such as Talk Desk, created in 2012 by two Technic Lisboa alumni. Talk Desk developed a technological product consisting of a software platform that allows any company to create their own call center online in less than five minutes. Also, Unbubble developed a translation platform that combines uh, artificial intelligence technology with the human element in order to produce the best possible translation, and it's on its way and very way high to become a unicorn. Now that we have shown you so much about what Technic Lisboa has to offer, I bet that you are eager to become our student. So you must be asking, how can you apply? How can you take part of this amazing academic experience? Well, always remember that the admissions office team is here to help you. Our team is here to guide you and will provide you all the necessary information and guidance to make the, this journey as smooth as possible. Count on us from the application phase to information about your visa issuing until we so proudly welcome you upon your arrival in Lisbon. Applications for international students are now open and this team is ready uh, here to help you in at least four different languages uh, whenever you reach out to us. Now, you may be asking yourself, what documents do I need to submit as an international student in my application? Here, are what you, here is what you need to submit. Well, all of these documents uh, are at your hand, should be right there on your desk, as it is your ID, your passport, and all your official transcripts, um, academic transcripts, either from your high school, if you're applying for a, a bachelor degree, or from your bachelor degree, if you're applying to a master's degree. 
don't forget that you will also have to submit the statement under oath proving that you do not have the Portuguese nationality, for instance, or that you fulfill all the required elements in order to be an international student. Also be aware that for each application that you make, there will be um, a payment uh, fee for, for it. But I think you still need some help and uh, knowing if you are considered an international student. So don't worry, we can help you. Check this. Well, uh, if you're still not sure, just send us an email and we will help you. I am very, very proud today to um, introduce to you this very young but experienced team that will guide you in your admissions process. In all the emails that you will receive or any other communication, these are the faces that you, you will become familiar with. Here are our admissions manager, Diana, Joana, and Inês. They are here available for you uh, by email, phone, WhatsApp, Zoom, Skype, or any other tools you may need us to use. And today, in today's webinar, uh, we are very glad uh, to have the participation of the Chemical Engineering Department of Technic Lisboa. I am very pleased to introduce to you Professor Henrique Matos, who will tell you about, about more, uh, more information about the department and its courses. Enjoy and thank you for joining us today, Professor Henrique. Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. And um, as a vice president of this chemical engineering department at here at Technic Lisboa, I'm very glad to present our um, our courses and show you some uh, flavor of this uh, offer for you. So, who are uh, we in this department? We are we are uh, several. Um, uh, researchers and, and teachers that have these uh, activities, these mainstream teaching, have a research and also providing some services to companies and other institutions. And we are organized in four main scientific areas, as you see here. The first two are more related with chemistry and the molecular structure, materials, nanosciences. And the, the last two are more related with engineering, chemical engineering sciences and process and project engineering. Uh, we we have uh, um, essentially in our department uh, four courses that I will show some information. And the first one is about the Bachelor in Chemical Engineering. That is a three years course, uh, and we have the the these different uh, uh, different subjects. Uh, let's say some of them are more in basic sciences. The other. Uh, these blue ones are here uh, in the uh, core uh, uh, structure. And then we have some uh, pre-major uh, courses also uh, to prepare you for the, the, the next degree. And uh, also some uh, what we call humanities, arts and social sciences. That is uh, to prepare you uh, in the wide view for uh, your job in the future. Finally, we have in this course uh, um, a final project to integrate all your uh, knowledge about this subject. Uh, I have here some we have here some figures about the the course. Uh, we have a fresh entrance of eighty new students. Uh, around sixty percent are women. Uh, the the language could be in Portuguese or in English, depending on the students. 
and we have a very high approval percentage, also a, a, a good, let's say, average final grade for the students. And uh, we can say that um, around 97% of the students follow for the master. Is it the master that I will now talk about? The master in chemical engineering. So it's another course. Uh, this now is two years of uh, studies that will uh, dip on the, um, the same subject, the chemical engineering, but you have the opportunity to, to touch a different type of uh, subjects. We have here uh, 54 ACTS, this is the credit um, uh, system transfer uh, in the main area, and we, we you can have 24 these ECTS on the elective elective subjects that you can choose among uh, several areas and several topics. Then we have a, a project uh, with two, 12 ECTS in the second year, and finally you can have um, a semester to develop your uh, individual dissertation to uh, conclude this master. Uh, so this is uh, something that uh, uh, we can have uh, essentially uh, in English. Um, we have similar figures for the new students and, uh, and the similar figures for, other, for the other uh, um, topics. And of course, a uh, uh, final average grade is uh, a little bit higher than the, the bachelor uh, type of course. Um, what can I say? Uh, it's more another master that is also um, developed in our department. And this is related with molecular science and engineering. This is um, up to now a smaller course, but also quite interesting because it's coming from the molecules to the final products uh, that you use uh, by yourself. So this is studying the design, synthesis, characterization, and application of all the, uh, the, the knowledge to produce uh, better products. So this is what they, they have in this master. So they have these areas, the main areas, molecular design, molecular simulation, analytical methods, and structural analysis. And as we see, it's from small molecules to polymers, the, the big ones that you use in your life. And also, we, we touch the chemical uh, problems and also uh, some biological functions is um, in, in this master. Um, of course, everything is done with the sustainable uh, concepts and views. Uh, as you see here, a lot of opportunities in different types of industry and areas can be uh, accomplished by, the, by the, the, the graduated students of this master. Uh, and of course, this is quite interesting to, to have uh, uh, different uh, um, co collaborative uh, aspects between uh, the, the students and other uh, players on, on this process. Uh, then I'd like to talk about uh, another bachelor that is in materials engineering, also uh, coming from our department, but this is a joint collaboration with mechanical engineering department. So material science is also quite important in nowadays, and you can see that this, uh, the topics that are covered by this um, bachelor is um, uh, related with materials characterization and test labs, the quality control, material certification, some uh, research and uh, ID and consulting. These are all the opportunities, uh, professional opportunities that you uh, obtain after you get this, this course. But this course is uh, also uh, related with the metals, polymers, ceramics, composite, composites. So different types of materials that you can study the structure, the properties and other, uh, other um, um, performance of the, the materials. So this is the, the, the structure for this course, uh, is um, uh, also a three years course. And we have, again, some uh, uh, main, uh, some basic science, let's say. And then we have the more uh, course subjects uh, as uh, the ones that is uh, um, presented here, uh, as properties of materials, characterization, testing, degradation, failure, and so on. And of course, they have also the pre-major uh, subject and some um, uh, humanities, arts and science, social science as the other course. 
and finally an integrative uh, project at, at the end. Uh, and the following of this bachelor and on materials and engineering, you, you can have the master. The master in materials and engineering is something that is uh, also related with materials, but is uh, going deep on the uh, knowledge about this area and uh, have uh, the, the, the possibility to develop new materials and shape, uh, as we say, the sustainable future because we will deal with materials that can provide uh, better solutions for our problems in terms of uh, uh, products, final products, but also related with energy and environment. So as you can see, uh, a lot, uh, a, a, a big series of, of uh, opportunities, professional opportunities can be um, given with this course as developing new materials, as I mentioned, new products, uh, the selection of the right materials for specific applications, testing and modeling the materials, recycling and reuse materials, and of course, the final uh, quality control and the certification. So this uh, uh, course has, um, uh, again, uh, the, the structure similar to the other masters. It means two years where we have the course subjects uh, on the first and second year. And then we have elective courses um, on the on the two years also. Um, and final, you have uh, the, the one semester individual dissertation to conclude the course. So this is the our main offer uh, in terms of courses. And I can say that I, in our department, we are dealing with several um, programs for mobility. Uh, as you can see, we have several students coming as Erasmus, uh, others from SMILE, from Brazil, South Korea, uh, other programs, uh, as it mentioned here, Santander and Canada, and it depends year by year for different type of programs. But of course, Erasmus is the, the, the highest uh, number of students coming in this program. And as you can see, these are some examples of universities uh, from uh, where uh, the students come, uh, but also uh, universities where uh, teachers and uh, researchers have some collaboration, and it is quite easy to 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 facilitate the, the some scholarship or some uh, staying on these uh, universities that I mentioned here. Uh, also, we have this strong collaboration with companies. Uh, almost of our students from, um, uh, let's say, dissertation um, uh, studies uh, are doing their uh, studies and their work um, we, in, in one of these companies. This is uh, almost national companies, but we have also some companies uh, outside of Portugal where they stay. Uh, but uh, especially these, uh, these companies have a good relation with us and then it's very easy that they offer uh, a topic that you can develop for your dissertation with uh, um, real contact with the industry, with the, 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 real, the real life and production. And uh, what can I say else, uh, else uh, is other activities that we have inside of our department and students can uh, use these opportunities to um, participate on this type of activities. We have each month a different deck talk, what we call deck talk. It means a talk given by some uh, invited person. Um, as you see here, this is a, a, a former student that comes, uh, that is uh, in, in, in Bayer and it's coming, um, it was uh, in last October and he, he, he speak about uh, uh, his program in, in that company, uh, quite interesting uh, topic, and different topics are coming. We have some activities, joint activities, as you see here, we, we play um, a periodic table outside of the, the, our building um, with several uh, students. And also we have um, a very regular um, way some visits and and open labs so our labs are open to the students uh, coming from uh, uh, secondary uh, schools and other places and they can uh, visit our labs also we have this what we call summer internship 
that means that students can stay in our uh, research uh, labs during uh, um, 15 days and be in contact with uh, uh, research activities in the real uh, labs of uh, each uh, center. Uh, moreover, we have these activities coming from real uh, students' uh, organizations. That is this uh, what we call NUCLEO. That is students' uh, organization by themselves that they have several activities. And one of the most important activities is this five five years uh, meeting uh, with the several invited uh, persons that, that can uh, have talks and, uh, and try to, to um, talk with, uh, with the students to uh, give them uh, more information about the, the real jobs and the real um, life outside of technique. So this is quite uh, interesting activity organized uh, by, the, by the students. And you can participate, of course, on, on that. So uh, the last uh, question that is important for the students, what uh, should we do after you graduate? Uh, well, what we have in our records from the former students is that they, they go essentially for the industry to the product, production activities, but also uh, several for consulting, some of them for research, because some of them go also for uh, the, the PhD uh, student as phd student uh, some go to teaching uh, then it's possible also for labs uh, and also for process design some uh, conceptual uh, offices that uh, provide the, the design uh, but there are other um, areas where students can go so also energy environment uh, industrial cyber security that quite important field nowadays data science, insurance banks, and so on. There's a lot of uh, uh, other type of uh, activities that our graduates could um, apply. Uh, and with this, I, I conclude my presentation. I just to want to say that uh, these degrees are uh, here to help you to build a more sustainable world. So if you are interested in this uh, topic, please join us. Uh, we, I keep here uh, our phone, our email, and also uh, a link to a, a video in YouTube that you can uh, join and see a little bit more in deep what are our uh, activities and facilities inside of the department. And thank you. Well, thank um, our chemical engineering department, Professor Enrique, for joining us today with the presentation. And um, now we have reserved a few minutes uh, for questions and answers um, that the questions you were writing in the chat during this broadcast, and we will try to answer it as clear as possible, both me and Professor Enrique. So don't be shy. So we have Juliette. Hello, Agatha. Hi, Juliette. Thank you for being with us today. How many intakes do you have? Can I join in the spring semester? Well, Juliette, first of all, thank you for being with us today um, and for your interest in studying at Technic Lisboa. Let me just explain to you that at Technic Lisboa, we only have one intake, which is the fall intake. The academic year starts in... Um, September, all the way till July. We do not have the spring intake uh, for degree-seeking uh, students, only for mobility students. So if you wish to just undertake a semester at Technico, then yes, you can join us uh, in the second semester. And thank you again for your question. Another question, can I work while I'm studying at your school? Well, that depends, Juliet. Uh, I don't have your full information, nor do I want to have it right now during this broadcast. It's your private information. But let me just tell you that if you are an international student and you're coming with a student visa, you do not have anything to worry. 
uh, you will be able to legally work upon an authorization of our government and the Ministry for Foreign Affairs. Um, however, be aware that uh, you might not have that many much time to, to work after classes, but it's doable. And thank you for your question. Um, Okay, here's a challenge for me. So, Meha Yabin, I think. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing this correctly. Um, could you tell me if it is necessary to present a certificate of Portuguese language? I want to apply to a master, but I don't speak Portuguese. Well, thank you for being with us today. In order to apply for a master's degree, you do not need to prove um, your Portuguese language level as uh, was uh, presented to you before our master classes are in English. So you won't have a problem for admission with that. While we always advise our students to learn our language, which will make uh, your daily life easier, even though everybody at Lisbon speaks English. Even if they don't, they will always try um, to do their best to, to help you. Let me just clarify that for bachelor degree, this language, this Portuguese language uh, certificate, it is mandatory. However, you will be able to study Portugal, Portuguese during your first year of studies and present the final certificate at the end of the first academic year you are here. But anyway, I would ask you to drop us a, a WhatsApp or an email and we will look uh, at your uh, situation specifically and help you in the best way we can. And thank you for being with us today. More questions? Oh, Juliet again. I have a question for Professor Matus. What is the difference between a chemical engineer and a chemist? Okay, thank you for your question. Uh, the, 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 let's say the, the bases are similar, quite similar, but then the functions that you have in your job afterwards uh, could be different. So the chemist is more dedicated to work in labs or to have uh, some activities on research. And chemical engineering uh, could do more or less the same, be in labs or, or have a research, but then they could be more um, um, uh, connected with the, the, the industry. So they can be more connected with the process to, to the production in the real plants. So that's the, the, the big difference. So the activities are more related with the production in, in the plants that they can have um, the opportunity to, to, to operate to operate the systems in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the industry. Uh, this is the, the highest difference, let's say. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Enric, much uh, for uh, figuring out this challenge <laughs> and for taking it. And another question, I have a degree in bioengineering. Am I eligible to apply for a chemistry course? Professor Enric, can you help with this one? Yes, the, the answer is yes. Uh, we, we accept, I mean, a chemistry course, uh, I mean, uh, I understand that you are talking about master. Yes, if you have a bachelor on bioengineering, you can apply for a master in, uh, in uh, let's say, in chemical engineering or uh, in this new master that is molecular science and engineering. Yes. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if there are any more questions. Who are, uh, Juliet again, who are the main recruiters for chemical engineers? Well, uh, as I mentioned, as I mentioned before, uh, there are several possibilities for a chemical engineer. Let's say if they, they, they have uh, the, the, the opportunity to go to a, a, a industry. So there are from the industry, uh, the companies that are the main, uh, the main uh, recruiters for, for these chemical engineers. But we can see that chemical engineers can be 
um, apply can apply for a different type of jobs. So they can be in the consulting activities. Consulting sometimes are also related with the industry and to to improve uh, the the quality of the production or the problems related with energy or uh, environment issues like uh, uh, effluent treatment. So different type of activities can be done by the chemical engineers, not directly in the industry, but uh, uh, let's say the main recruiters are from industry uh, companies and also for uh, the consulting. Thank you, Professor Enrique. And I believe we have no further questions today. Um, so thank you for all your questions. We, I hope we were able to, to help you. But anyway, if you were shy today or you didn't feel like um, writing anything in front of everybody, um, if you need any more help, just drop us uh, an email. All our contacts are here. Um, and as I told you before, it's our pleasure to, to join you. Well, and um, finally, I want to thank everybody for being on that side of the screen. And thank you, and I hope to see you soon again and here already in Lisbon at Technique Lisboa.